What's going on guys? Welcome to GFX Capture. It's Fast Friday and today we're going to look at customizing timeline colors. So there are different ways of doing it. By default you have a set of colors and presets available. What you do is go to edit in Premiere Pro, go to preferences and you can go and click on labels. Now here you see all the, the default and the preset colors um, you can set the default or you can change the defaults to for video audio still images sequence dynamic link bin movie which is audio and video um, you can do that from here the second option is create your sequence and on the sequence right click on it and you can go to label and you can change it from here as well whether you're changing it for audio or video or still images or a dynamic link you can all do it from here so just to give you an example I'm gonna change that to violet or let's actually change that I'm just gonna unlink this and then change my video to say something like yellow okay so this is a very easy way of identifying and separating and differentiating specific audio or video files um, in, in your sequence, especially if you have a very complex uh, sequence. These customizations actually do help a lot. So I hope this was useful for you. If it was, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, hit that thumbs up button, and we will see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.